A Blybel teenager is experiencing or beginning to experience all the things you do as a senior in high school, but she's been having to do it without her mom. All those emotions came up to the surface when Teach for 11's Mercedes McKay asked about her mother's long road to recovery. She's waited so long for this time for me, and um, I know she's so proud. Sorry. Um, <laughs> And I just can't wait to share that with her. Bailey McHouston's whole world changed on December 21st. She was just laying there with her eyes closed. I was like, mom, are you okay? The 17 year old dialed 911 after she heard her mom gasping for air in the other room. When the paramedics got here, they checked her oxygen level and it was at 37. Exactly one week before that, her mother, Cynthia McHouston, was diagnosed with bronchitis and a severe sinus infection. But when she arrived at the hospital on the 21st, that diagnosis had turned into COVID-19. She was only there for a short four hours before she was airlifted to a hospital in Jackson, Tennessee, since no beds were available. She just wasn't there. She was fully sedated. She, she was just not good. And we were worried, like extremely worried. The 59 year old spent the next 17 days breathing through a ventilator her progress fluctuating while her husband and daughter were miles away. On the seventh day that she was there, um, they had to turn the ventilator all the way back up. It was like she took a turn for the worse. But the educator at Blyfield Elementary still had some fight left in her. On Thursday, Cynthia was finally taken off the ventilator and breathing on her own. God's a miracle worker, and I know the more prayers we get, then it'll be much worth it. Bailey describing how faith and community helped her stay strong and the high school senior hopes her mom's story can change some people's minds. It's real and we don't want you or your family to go through what we have gone through. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. And Bailey and her father were both diagnosed with COVID-19 after Cynthia got the positive test result, but they are recovering. Bailey says her mom is projected to leave the hospital next Tuesday, but it all depends on how the next few days go.